Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, bringing the update what's going on at the garage. So, 1932 Mercedes replica. This is called a gazelle. It was built on a 1974 Ford Mustang II chassis. It has a V6 German motor, Ford German motor in it. And I've been working on this car for the gentleman who owns it for about eight years now. We've been maintaining it and keeping it running. And I see it every three, four, five years or something like that. It just depends on when it needs anything. Um, he had brought it in because he was starting to have a fuel leak. And if you look right down there, see that piece right there? That is the fuel pump. And the diaphragm for the fuel pump went bad. So it was pushing fuel out the fuel pump and onto the ground hence he had it towed here so we can fix it um, a long time ago i made all the bracketry up here to get the power steering pump in and to also get the alternator over there in. i did a whole bunch of work found a radiator that would fit under there and got that in there um, i made all of the coil and distributor work in here so we had to get a new distributor for it and uh, i mean just a ton of work i've put into this car over the years so it is a really cool car right now we're getting that fixed we have a few little wiring issues that we're going to fix um this wire back here for the tail lights is starting to fall out as you can see right there plus the way it sits it was going to start rubbing against the tire and it went right over here which it was rubbing against this leaf spring so we're going to actually take that cut it in half and send it through the body and then through the fender and then put a mount somewhere over here with a nice um, acorn screw and then Put it into the tail light so this way it's safe and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side and you can see how this one is still where it is and that i can barely fit my finger between the electrical and that leaf spring so i really want to get that fixed and this is your wire harness for your tail light that is the leaf spring that's the fender so again we're going to probably put a hole somewhere over here in the car run it through into the fender and then mount it right over here and then bring it over to the tail light so it stays out of the way of the wheel so there you go there's what's going on god i love this little car i can't fit in it but it's just such a cool little car it's so different i did a ton of work underneath this dashboard getting everything to work and getting the wiring as safe as i possibly could without actually having to put a brand new harness in here. We also had to replace the speedo gauge a long time ago because it stopped working. So there's a lot of work that's gone into this car and uh, it's really just a cool little car. So there you go guys, that's what's going on at the garage today. Have fun, I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.